Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be going over text paths and different ways you can edit text here for your laser. So as I see it said previously in a different video, um, I just typed this uh, text out. So all it is is a normal text. You can change it to whatever you want. I just typed it out here for an example. And I did it in cursive because this usually is the biggest issue here for people. Um, so let's go ahead and go into this a little bit here. So if I would save this text just as it is, the laser isn't going to read it right now. Um, I think they're working on editing that so it is able to be edited um, or, or seen by Glowforge like this. But as of right now, you're going to have to change this into an actual vector image versus a text uh, path here. So what we're going to do is um, I'll show you different um, things that cause causes some issues. So right now, as it is uh, with text, you're going to have um, all of these letters are overlapping. As you can see, let me zoom in a little bit here. You can see all these little overlapping paths here. So whenever it engraves right now, it's going to engrave all of the black, but when it comes to these overlapping paths, it's going to leave those white because the laser isn't going to know what to do. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you the um, way to merge this together or technically the technical term is unite all of this together and then once it's united I'll show you guys um, a couple other ways to offset the path so you can cut out like a cool cutout line with this too so let's go ahead and go into that let me turn this back off so now that you know that this is all overlapping we're gonna change this um, we're gonna go up to type and then we're gonna go to create outlines and now that you did that um, that essentially changed it from a text into like a vector image here but they're still overlapping so while you have everything selected go over to Pathfinder and click the unite button right here and then on Inkscape I believe it's called Union um, I don't use Inkscape so somebody can correct me if I'm wrong so you'll you'll click on that and when you do that this will all be one solid image so I'll turn on the outlines just for a second so you can see that so now that we click that unite there's no more overlapping red areas so the laser can engrave the entire black area with no problems so let me go ahead and uh, select this again turn that back off there we go so now that we have our vector image of this, and by the way, if you don't have Pathfinder over here, you can just go to Window, click on Pathfinder, and then it'll open like over here. So just a heads up on that. So now that we have the actual vector image of this text here, we're going to go ahead and go up to Object, and then select Path, and I'm going to do an Offset Path and uh, you can choose whatever you want here you can play with this whatever works best I'm gonna just leave it on my default here and then click OK and as you see you got these giant black um, <laughs> blobs here that are all overlapping each other um, kinda taking up your entire letter section here so without clicking anything on here go back up to the unite button here click unite now you see all of those black blobs all connected together and then change the stroke to a color that you use to cut and then remove the fill and there you go so now you have a nice cut line all the way around all these letters here and then you have your letters in the center here so that's exactly how you can do this um, you can create like keychains and different things like that. Um, now if you want to get a little bit more technical for like let's say keychains you can go ahead highlight all this go up to object click ungroup and now that you have that ungrouped you can select just the stroke by itself and just the individual letters by themselves and what we can do is come over here click and hold and click on your um, ellipsis tool here that way you can create circles for like a keychain and then you can hold shift and then kind of draw out a circle here if you want to 
Um, I'll just do like that size. It's probably too big, but just for reference, you can play with with it however you like. I'm just changing the score to red and the fill to none here. And I might mess with this a little bit here. Let me just put it like right about there. And I'll shrink it down just a little bit here. That's probably too big. There we go. So that's good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, this path all the way around and then this red circle that I just did. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that Unite button again. So have, if you haven't, if you couldn't tell by now, you're going to use this Unite button a lot in your designs. Um, so I just united that. So as you see, now the path is all the way around. Then you have this circle area. Now I can click on my um, tool again to make the circle. And you can hold Shift and make another smaller circle in here. There you go. And uh, let me see. Let me turn the snap to grid off so I can kind of align this a little bit better. So now you can drag your circle wherever you want for your keychain. Um, so we'll just call it good right there. Now you can put your little keychain loop through and you can turn this into an entire keychain. Super easy. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this helped you guys out with different text paths here. Um, and then let me go ahead and undo what we just did. There we go. So let's say we're like right here on this and you want to just cut the text out just like this. That's all you need to do. You can save the file just like this. Um, upload it to your Glowforge and then if you want you could just print the text, cut it out, and then you can glue this right on top of like a different project too. So if you're wanting like standout looking text in a different color material so yeah, there's all sorts of different options you can do with this. You could uh, technically take two rows of text. So let's just uh, copy all of this here. And then obviously you would have, whoops, let me undo that. So yeah, so we have two rows of text here. Obviously you would have different uh, text itself, but um, you could merge the outside cut lines together if you wanted to. Um, so that was just another example. Um, so yeah, you do everything through that Unite button there. And just a quick overview, when you have your text typed out, you'll click on Type, and then you'll click on Create Outlines, and then you'll, you'll, you'll unite that. And after uniting, um, you can go ahead and choose the uh, if you want to do the the path around it you'll go down to path choose offset path and then after offset path you'll unite again and then you'll change it to the uh, outline and no fill so that was just a real quick recap of what we just did and it's a pretty easy process here so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope this helped you out um and i hope this answers any questions in the future about it so uh, we'll catch you guys next time, and thanks for watching.